Pants it was cool. Yeah, Caterpie's level five, moving up in the world. All right. Found an antidote that'll come in useful if we get poison. Yes, please, a heal would be nice. All right. Oh, wow, this Pokemon never can hardly get five steps. All right, we're just going to axe this guy. We don't want to be here all day. Come on, Caterpie, go tackle. I almost want to go back to that uh, pan paw just so I can keep slapping stuff. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh no! Maybe I should swap to the other guy just to speed this process up. Okay, out you come, Fennekin. We don't have all day to kill Panpaw. Let's knock him out. Oh no! Slap to the face. It's a bit harsh, Panpaw. What did we ever do to you? Oh, almost got him. I can't wait to see like the high level attacks like Hyper Beam, what they look like on this game. They'd just be awesome. Oh, down he goes. Alright, level 9. Oh yeah, Fire Dog. This guy we might actually save it just in case. Alright, so we're 20 minutes into the game. We're running around Santa Loon Forest. Obviously we need to go this way. Nothing in the grass here. Now I wonder if that was like the rustling grass in black and white too. Whenever the grass would rustle you could step on it for a higher level Pokemon. Nope, apparently it's level 2. Caterpie vs. Caterpie. We should just be able to take this guy out fairly straight up. He will be slowing me down, but, you know, level 5 vs. level 2. It's a certain easy mode about that sort of matchup. So let us know in the comments down below what you, what you thought and uh, what sort of uh, let's play games you like, like do you like it when I talk a lot, talk a little, um, uh, any questions you had, have go ahead and post them down below, happy to answer any of those, uh, if there's particular things you want to see, particular advice you might have, uh, just let us know, be happy to try some things out, make it a bit fun, looks like all our friends from before are roaming around. I'm already battling people. I think we're going to end up in a double battle here. Ooh, paralyze heal. I haven't really been poisoned or paralyzed yet, and the fact that we have her to heal everything kind of means we don't have to really worry a whole lot. Alright, looks like this guy is. Ready to game on. Youngster Joey sent out Scatterbug. Oh, that's kind of crazy looking. Caterpie's ready to roll. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna stomp through with Caterpie. Really uh, anxious to get Caterpie evolved. Once it once it gets the Butterfree, it gets sleep powder and poison powder and all that niceness, so just uh, using him early on. And probably uh, use a fair bit of uh, Fennekin as well. Scatterbugs are probably going to go down without doing a whole oh, smack in the face. We'll tackle him back, and there he goes. That'd be some good XP. I need to find a bit more comfortable place to sit in this room. We'll keep going. Sent out Fletchling. Obviously, this is the. Pidgey or Spearow of this game, everyone seems to have a Fletchling. Growling 
it up a bit. If, if you're not aware, in, in most of the Pokemon series, things like that Growl and Leer, they lower your stats. And uh, you can get rid of those effects by changing out of changing your Pokemon or ending the battle. When the battle ends, all of those temporary effects wear off. But things like uh, Poison, Paralysis, Sleep and other status changes, they all sort of hang on from game to game. Uh, from battle to battle. So the only way to get rid of them is to heal at a Pokemon Center or heal off your friend that's following you around. Alternatively, you can uh, use an item like a Paralyze Heal to get rid of Paralysis or an Awaken to get rid of Sleep. All that sort of thing. Caterpie's level 6, slowly moving up. Doesn't get any really useful attacks very early on, but um, will come in handy. Get another heal. Right, we might just plow through until uh, Caterpie and Fennec can sort of faint before we worry about any other heals. Yeah, we might plow through this forest as well. We don't want to be here for all night. But uh, we may as well spend a little bit of time here leveling up because we'll end up at a gym in the next city and not be able to do anything. We want to have at least one or two Pokemon that are fit enough to mount a bit of a challenge on whatever gym leader that is. Now, in case you don't know, I don't actually uh, spoil the game. I don't, I don't go on and look up what's coming, so I'm just sort of playing by ear here and having a bit of fun. I have no idea what the first gym in this game is. Um, back in the old uh, blue and red games was actually a rock type gym which would be really bad for me with a fire type Pokemon but you know I didn't pick him for sort of early game advantages fire Pokemon generally get really cool later in the game all right there's the trifecta there's the third and final monkey that we don't have so let's uh give him a few tackles and try and catch him too that way we'll have the grass a leaf and a fire right off the bat I really like that they've done that in this game. Often in the other games it would take quite a while to get the different types of Pokemon unless you started with them. It seemed like in most of the games all the early Pokemon were things like Rattata, Pidgey, like very generic normal type Pokemon. It was hard to get uh, the different uh, grass types, fire types and so on early in the game. So I'm glad we can uh, sort of round out our arsenal. We've now got some fire, some water, some grass. We've also got a bug type that will also be a flying type in due course with Butterfree. So and not a bad little uh, haul of Pokemon. As you can see, it doesn't seem very difficult uh, early on to grab quite a diverse range. So yeah, I really like like the start of this. Enjoying it. I think the graphics are awesome. Pokemon are cool. Nice nice variety of new Pokemon and older Pokemon from um, like Pan Seer, Pan Paw, all of those are Oh, she gave us another one. Nice. I may need that in a minute. It's a nice mix of Pokemon from the recent games like Pan Sage, Pan Paw and Pan Seer. And Pokemon, we even saw a Pidgey, which is like way out of um, the original games, Blue and Red, the games we first saw Pidgey. All right, we have a Pikachu here, little cutie, the face of the Pokemon series for so long. Oh wow, that was a critical hit. I don't know that uh, Caterpie is going to uh, <laughs> do very well here. We're already paralyzed. Not a good start for Caterpie. That animation's awesome, it actually whips its tail. Give it another tackle. Try one more. We're actually paralyzed, so Caterpie's very slow, like you're dramatically slowed, so you generally attack second when you're paralyzed. You also occasionally will miss your attack altogether. So that's the downside to being paralyzed. Hopefully we can knock him out with this one. Yes, we got him. Excellent. Oh, poor Pikachu. Faints we get 120 XP, it'll take us up a level. Alright. 
Down she goes. Pick a power and all. Oh, nice. Canopy's evolving. Let's check out these evolution animations. Da, da. Very nice. It's a metapod. Now, if you've seen the uh, some of the earliest Pokemon anime series, you'd have seen one of the most uh, epically boring battles in history was a metapod versus a metapod, where they both uh, just hardened and did nothing at all. She's obviously very proud of the fact that she's got a Pikachu. It's like not anyone, not only anyone can catch a Pikachu. I'm cool. Mm, not really. Oh, and Fletchling, I don't know what it is about this bird, but I just I don't have a crushing desire to catch one. <laughs> Something about it, I don't know. I'd rather, I'd rather have a Pidgey than one of those. Just looks a bit uh, weedy and little. <sighs> All these growls are lowering my attack. This could take forever. That's the third growl. Okay, well, I probably have to change. I'm not going to do like 50,000 slaps just to get through it. Go Fennekin. Alright. See if we can get this guy to level 10. Go Fire Dog of Doom. Alright, Ember. Oh no, poor birdie. Right, let's make a break for it. Let's try and get through this sandaloon forest. Oh, we have so many Pokemon. Alright, another trainer battle. Let's see what she's got. Apparently none of these school kids are actually in school. Oh, Weedle. wonder if we can catch Weedle in this version. Normally you can't get uh, Weedle and Caterpie in the same version. For example, you can expect uh, Caterpie will probably be in this version and Weedle will be in Pokemon X. It's a bit of a shame. Beedrill's pretty cool, but being a flying bug type, they're generally uh, very susceptible to mm, just about anything, really. It's trying to slow me down with that string shot, but Metapod doesn't really need a whole lot of speed to win this battle. It's level 2 after all. Down it goes. Yep, nice work. Ooh, a bunnelby. That highly intimidating rabbit. Oh no, that thing's got epic ears. And needs a severe bit of dentistry. There's massive buck teeth, but this should, uh, Be over in a minute. Okay. Nice tackle. One more should do it. Oh. Trying to headbutt a shell. I don't know how wise that is. This guy's literally a hardened cocoon. Yes, you do need to keep battling to train up. Just uh, accumulating a lot of money. Found another Pokeball. I don't know what what this girl's waiting for. Like, there's normally a dual battle or something when you're with another trainer, but so far there's not really been anything like that. Just seems to be the heal magnet. She, we cart her around and we don't have to worry about healing in a poker center, which is nice. It would be annoying to have to walk home every time we wanted to heal. Sort of uh, powers up the starting part of the game. Helps you sort of level up your Pokemon a bit quicker. But, uh, these level 2 Pokemon aren't going to be able to do a whole, whole lot for us. 
one more battle, we almost out of here. Oh, Pansage, go Metapod. Tackle. I know this is a bit repetitive guys, sorry I attempted to skip part of this, but I just want to get through the forest and see if there's a gym in the next town. If there is, we'll do that tonight before we uh, stop this uh, video. Just plough through to there, otherwise um, we'll pause it and resume tomorrow. Alright, so we're going to drop out our Finnegan. It's a bit quicker at killing these pesky grass type. Go Finnegan. Alright, defense down. Ember. Um, remember in Pokemon that uh, your attack and your special attack are actually two different types of ability. Like, he can lower my attack all day, but the Ember actually is a special attack. So it uh, lowering my normal attack does very little. Ooh, what's happening? We've got a cutscene. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with lots of potential. The way Pokemon move, it's incredible. I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance. Apparently this giant guy is a dancer. Alright, let's go to Santaloon City. Apparently we're going to move about in a bit of a pack, all five of us. Everyone's deciding what they're going to get up to. Oh, Santaloon City does have a gym, so... The adventure rules, I don't think we'll be reading that. Alright, let's make a break for that gym, see how we measure up. Hopefully we can uh, get away with challenging the gym leader. This crazy, crazy hair kid. Preschooler Oliver sent out a Caterpie. Oh no. If only we didn't have a Metapod. Level 2. Yes, uh, that's impressive. I guess that's what you get when you're playing the little kid's pool. I wonder, I hope my sound's alright. Can you, can you guys hear me? Just let us know if... Uh, we need to fiddle with the sound settings for future videos. Oh no, poor Caterpie. Sorry buddy, you're in the way. Yeah, let's switch Azure. Let's let's send out our Pansage. Let's get some levels on our grass type. Yep. Oh, Azure is such a cutie. Bouncing around on the ball. And slap that face. <laughs> oh, what was that? Not very effective, apparently. A water type against grass is generally going to suffer a bit. Got a critical hit. Oh, splash. That's what that was. Splash does nothing. It's about the most useless move you can get in the game. Right, 31 XP on our way to level 2. Alright, beat that kid down. Be the biggest bully in the neighborhood apparently. Is there a higher level Pokemon in the grass? Oh yeah, it's the bunny. I don't know if I can really bring myself to catch a rabbit. Being here in Australia, rabbits are more of a pest than anything. So uh, I don't think I'll be catching the bucktooth bandit. Just move on. Let me know if you disagree with my animal policies. But uh, frankly, I, I'm not, not going to be worrying about that guy until we want to complete the Pokedex. I mainly focus on Pokemon that I like, have cool abilities, you know, that sort of thing. We'll worry about catching everything later on. I enjoyed the battling aspect of the game more than the exploring 
random Pokemon. So. Ooh, Pichu. A little cutie. Let's see how we go with this one. I want to see one that's a higher level though. Oh no, Charm. What, what that, what's that going to do to us? Oh, our attack harshly felt, so we do significant less da significantly less damage. Oh, tail Whip, our defense fell. One or two more. Oh, Static, looks like we got paralyzed again. I think we've lost our little friend that wanted to heal us, so looks like we'll just have to plow through to the town with what we've got. Almost there. Oh, okay. Metapod has shed skin, so he healed himself of paralysis. It's pretty handy. Bam, tackle. Down goes Pichu. Alright, 43 XP. Alright, that's that one. All done. Received 80 bucks. Alright, on our way to Santaloon City. Ooh, yeah. Oh, they're in a hurry. Oh, we must need cut to get through there. Oh, she wants to study. Woohoo! Schoolgirl Bridget. Apparently, no one is actually in school, which is about the furthest thing from the truth in Japan. I don't don't know if you guys are aware, but in Japan, kids will go to school early in the morning and then generally come back fairly late at night. Like, they'll go to class and then after class they'll go to either extra study or extracurricular activities. It's not uncommon for a Japanese kid to be at school from 8 in the morning till 5 or 6 at night and even do some more study when they get home. So they're a lot harder studiers than we are, but... Apparently not in the Pokemon world, they none of them actually go to school, they'll just run around with Pokemon. Which, to be honest, if, if you had a Pokemon, would you really go to school or would you wander around breathing fire at each other? Let, let's be serious, we would breathe fire at each other. It's Bidoof, it looks like a cross between a sheep and a beaver. A bit of an odd ball. Oh yeah, level 10. Bring it on, fire dog. I got $200 out of that, that's a pretty good battle. Right, super potion, that'll help us heal up. I love the little pickup in a